twist around and say, okay, I've, I've got the edge here, but right now she does not have the edge anywhere in the, her game. And even that Placing shot, it. I mean, she knew that she had the winner, but uh, she would have put a lot more authority on the shot. I'm so glad we've all got the skinny on that name now. You can just see by the expression on her face, she is really struggling out there to try to find a way around Jennifer Capriotti's game. And, uh, it came back with such power from Kornikova, it actually put off Capriotti. Ah, now that's more the kind of Kornikova that we see. Well, the first, uh, she really is hitting so hard, and it's a shame we don't have a some sort of radar to pick up uh, exactly how fast those ground strokes are going. We'll take a look at this point here. Now, <laughs> Capriotti went into the court, sets up, no chance for Kornikova when she hits a shot like that with Capriotti. And look at the movement. That's right. They they changed all the rules. Andrea Yeager, Tracy Austin, uh, Capriotti. They just said no more. We're going to allow the youngsters to play more than I think it, they can play seven events during any season until they turn 18, 17. I mean, she had it short that time from Capriotti, and she just pushed it into the net. Game and first set. Capriotti by six games to three. There it goes. A number that Corner Cobra did not want to hear. Six. Games to Capriati, three to Kornikova, and four. Well, I don't know where that um, second win has come from. It's going to come back at her three times as fast. Well, there you Capriati, you call it right there. Seven. Clever tennis. Even uh, Yeo Ging Sin from China is coached by her husband, Zhu Xin. Look at the volley with. Say that she owns it all. She has a good serve, she has a great forehand. She has a solid backhand. She can volley, she can hit overhead, and she can move. <laughs> Not a clean overhead. Deuce after a 40 love lead. Kornikova really shouldn't apologize for that because she's just even to score. Shots. She just, <laughs> she still hasn't found a rhythm. And we can't blame her. A nice deep shot by Kornikova. Oh, Capriotti's there, but she misses. Well, I think she was pretty exhausted from all that running around. A ton, a lot faster than Kornikova was serving it. But again, that time she didn't try to hit it so hard. Just oh, nice shot by Kornikova. Did not over the speed of foot around the court. Oh, that's a beautiful shot by Kornikova. She took her time. She says she feels so much pressure. It's just difficult to get to net when Capriotti's hitting well. Oh, 
And that's a beautiful shot by Capriati. You can see it right off the racket. No chance. Oh, right on the line. It can't get much better than this. Kornikova thought it was going to go. Well, Capriotti's going to be there. Oh, what a shot. That's the best point we've had in the match. Sides, see this great get by Kornikova. She lobs over Capriotti's head. Only one place Capriotti can go is down the line. Confident. Capriotti starting to miss every shot. Oh, nice lob. Oh, it's just long. First game of the first set when Capriotti double faulted three times. So Capriotti makes sure that, that overhead Huge. is point right here for Kornikova. That's a beauty. Um, That's more like the play you expect from number eight in the world. Had to clear it back into the court. 15 love. Oh, that's just inside the line. Good recovery by Kornikova. Pressure second serve for Capriotti. Not the howitzer forehand we saw earlier in this match. Oh, and it clips the tape, and there you have it. Second set. And Kornikova Kornikova by second out this second set. Unbelievable turnaround in this match. was visibly in better shape than she is now. She was really working hard on that uh, comeback. Capriotti's there. Oh, she won't, well, she might get that. But no, that's just not deep enough. But I don't think Capriotti even thinks about that, th that type of stuff anymore. With everything she's gone through, I think she's having so much fun playing tennis. She yeah, even probably enjoys that shot. This Gokic, for example, has, has grown since we first saw her burst in on to the international scene. And uh, what you read in the player's handbook is not always the case when you're watching. Well, there's a great play there. Kornikova. Kornikova, she was unable to re run it down. Well, Kornikova is having the time of her life right now. So she's, she's won five straight games. I don't think she's lost a game since I ran down on the court to interview Capri <laughs> Capriati. Game, Konikova. She leads by two games to lead. There's six straight games right now. Well, nice work by both the players. Cause it. One is you're just tired. Muscles aren't working properly. Or you've lost your concentration, and fitness can also cause you to lose your concentration. There's a wonderful forehand there by Capriati to lose. 
a bagel set. Six loves, so Capriotti will probably try to do her best to hold on with that wonderful forehand. Just too short, and that brings up match point. She was so far down and out, there was no chance for her to come back. And that's it. Anna Kornikova wins this match. Unbelievable turnaround. She loses the first set, 6-3, comes back, wins. 7-5, 6 love, reeling off 10 straight games. I'm sure she is in the state of shock. She cannot believe she actually won this. Look at her shake her head here in the semifinals, but for now, Ladies and Andrew gentlemen, Sanders. one more round of applause, please, for Anna Kornikova. <laughs> Anna, congratulations. Huge turnaround at the end of the second set. What were you telling yourself? Well, I was just trying to hang in there. I know that uh, you know Jennifer was playing extremely well the first set, and up to 5-3, she, she completely you know, was killing me. So I really had to hang in there, and I told myself that you know, anything could happen, and I just tried to get back into the, into the match, into the game, and just try to play point by point. And uh, you know, it paid off. I uh, was running after every ball, and, and uh, you know, I was just happy to make it through to 5-all. And then after that, I got really confident, and I started to play my game. We've seen a huge improvement in your game over the past 12 months in particular. Is your fitness and concentration exactly where you want it to be? Well, not, not right now, but uh, at the end of last year, definitely. But, you know, this is my second uh, match of the year, so I'm still not moving too well. And, you know, my reaction is a bit slow. But, uh, you know, after this match, I think hopefully I'll be on the right track. And, uh, you know, for Sydney, I'll be definitely ready. You've got a huge fan base uh, around the world, particularly here in Hong Kong. You seem to be... You seem to be able to live with that and enjoy it. Well, I would like to thank all of you uh, for the support. Uh, you know, I really appreciate it. I'm glad that uh, you guys uh, have fun. And uh, just, uh, I'm really thankful and I'm really excited and I'm glad to be out here. Okay, congratulations again. Good luck tomorrow. Ladies and gentlemen, Anna Kornikova.